Stop that bullshit. There is no way to do the vegan diet right. Then do it right. <laughs> it doesn't work. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today we're gonna react to Freely reacting to Kalel. Let's do it. So for brunch, I am very excited. I am going to share with you guys. Okay, so she's starting with a brunch. So she's actually not yeah. eating breakfast. She's so? eating later, which is already a bad idea. Why is it a bad idea? Absolutely no explanation here. It's just a bad idea. You have to start your day with breakfast. Why do we have so many successful people eating one or two meals per day? Most people are not so hungry in the morning. Why do you have to stuff yourself? Also, you could eat this any time of the day, but it does include eggs. So, oh. um, you gotta get the henstruations in there, don't you? <laughs> henstruations. It is a kimchi rice mm. egg bowl. I haven't really given it an, an official name. I mean, I I mean is, she, is she trying to be Korean or something? <laughs> I actually have to give it to Freddy. She really looks Asian, man. <laughs> <laughs> Kalel, you know, she's got the hair like that, the uh, face. She looks like an anime uh, character. Good on you, Freddy. You, okay? She's wearing a ton of makeup. So you yep, can't actually see the real surface of her skin. Fair and, enough. And, you know, like, you just need to keep that in mind, okay? Because it, her diet is not working for her, but we can't see the evidence of that because... Fair enough, because we can see that your diet is not working for you. On top of that, just making snarky comments about her maybe having done some plastic surgery is not fair either, because you've been an avid Botox user yourself. Because she has got the makeup slathered on. I want to say I invented this because it's very basic, but I did kind of come up with the way of which I oh, okay we don't care about that ego trip i just want to that see ego trip what, what? She is eating. she's just describing a recipe why is that an ego trip eating. i'm happy to see rice okay rice is how the asian cultures <laughs> have stayed some of the leanest are you people, asian the leanest cultures in the world have been eating a lot of rice For yes they've been eating a lot of rice that is true especially those people that are poorer right they don't have enough money therefore they would eat more rice but you do see that those people are working on feels freely right those people would eat a lot of rice and then they would burn it off whilst working on those fields of course none of those people were ever vegan the vegan blue zone hypothesis is an absolute scam those blue zones all ate a lot of animal foods especially the asians they've been eating a lot of fish and pork for thousands of years so those of you who think rice makes you fat Please, educate yeah, No, rice doesn't make you fat. Calories make you fat. Therefore, if you eat a bowl of rice and then after that you work it off, of course you're not gonna get fat. Nobody said rice is making you fat. Yourself. Then I'm gonna put kimchi on top of it. So she's probably having the kimchi because uh, she thinks it's gonna And she eats her rice her anyway, so what's the issue? It's gonna help her gut. But you know what? The absolute best thing to help your gut is fruit. So <laughs> oh. for repopulating your gut flora. Fruit, 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 fruit. How does fruit repopulate your gut flora? That doesn't make any sense. Fermented foods, fermented dairy, fermented meat even, has a lot of bacteria that will help repopulate your gut. How will you do that with a banana? <laughs> what the fuck? Do it. This is very, very salty, oh. okay? Heaps of sodium. It is not a so good start to the day because fruit, you need that fructose, you need that fruit sugar, <laughs> first thing. <laughs> Oh man, this girl really has been fucked in the head by durian yeah, oil. Why do you need the fructose? Even by absolute basic scientific understanding, you will realize that there are only two essential macronutrients, right? Essential fatty acids and essential proteins. There is absolutely no need for carbohydrates to begin with. Then if you break it down, there is no need for any particular carbohydrate. No matter if it is a monosaccharide, polysaccharide or fructose, you do not need it. And then... Transfer over oh. my A. Oh. She got yeah. the Henzies. She actually got some vitamin A, some vitamin D. She actually gets some nutrition on top of her already plant based meal. You gotta get the hen What is this obsession with Henzies? Seriously, they look disgusting. Henzies. They look disgusting. Honestly, the way that she cooked it, I would agree. It looks disgusting. You should leave the egg yolk raw, as raw as possible, 100%. However, this looks almost like one of your vegan fake eggs. If it would be one, you wouldn't say that it looks disgusting. It is just conditioning, it is just brainwashing.
brainwashing. If I would tell you this is a fake vegan egg, you would say amazing. But now it looks disgusting. It's, it's like a solidified snot. So... What? What about the baby chicks, Kalau? What, about... what happened to the baby chicks that you used what to happens? care about that, uh, you know, direct... Depends again where you get your eggs from, right? For example, we have a farm here in Macedonia. My aunt just gets the eggs from her backyard chickens. Nobody's dying there. Directly affected by you buying eggs. It's so disappointing who she's become. Oh, so oh, she always was that person, but she was faking it. Hey, oh, there you have it. Yes. Below, whether you think she was authentic. I mean, I the comments on engagement an rate. I don't buy. A paid actress for what exactly? She ate vegan, it destroyed her health, now she's not eating vegan anymore. You don't need to be a tremendous actor to perform that magic. Any means want to speak poorly about the vegan diet because I- It's not a diet! You are correct, it is a religion, it is a cult. It is not a diet. It is not a diet. It is not a diet. It's What's up not with the a editing? Cuisine. It is a lifestyle for life. It's an ethical lifestyle. You should know. You are choosing a religious belief for life. Yes. You know, you were like the Peter Pinup girl. They wouldn't come for me because I'm too controversial. What? Peter Pinup girl? No, they wouldn't come for you because you deteriorated. You're not hot anymore. That's kind of sad. I think it is something that works for almost everyone, assuming that you can be dedicated enough to eat. Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. What? It works for everybody. No, it obviously does not work for everybody. And on top of that, it does not work for you. I'm looking at a pale ghost here. You are a mere shadow of your own self five years ago. You deteriorated horribly. You're mentally ill, very sick, very frail, very pale. Ah! It does not work for anybody. This is why we have so many ex-vegans. How will you claim the opposite? Because we are designed to eat plant foods. We're not designed to eat animals. <laughs> totally mentally deranged. If you look at our anatomy, we are the perfect carnivore. If you look into herbivores, they have guts where they ferment the plant fiber, the cellulose. We are not able to do that. So how will you claim that we are herbivores? It is ridiculous. A proper diet. <laughs> I am not. I'm terrible with food. I, also uh, I hate what Kalel is doing there. She is justifying the vegan diet. Yeah, it can work for some. It didn't work for me people pleaser mentality it does not work our anatomy does not allow a plant only diet we are not built that way stop fishing for excuses i have a very bad habit of whenever i'm caught up into something i'm working i'm busy i'm we well, don't care the animals don't care. I don't care. I don't care for pathetic excuses. You do not care about human health. We already know that. You do not care about yourself. You just care about cows, chickens, and pigs. That's all. You do not care about the insects that get killed. You do not care about the rodents that get killed. You do not care about the birds that are getting killed. You do not care about the foxes, the wild hogs, the kangaroos, the wallabies, and whatnot. You only care about three fluffy animals. That is it. Like, save it. Zip it. Zip it. Like, zip it. You don't zip. Know. Shut up. You know, like, I, I don't want to listen to your so, problems. I just feel frustrated watching this. Just excuse. No, you feel frustrated because you're hungry. Excuses, excuses. You know, like, it doesn't matter. Just get your shit together. <laughs> Make it work. Make it work. Okay, Freddy. Can you please give me a second gut where I can ferment cellulose with? Then I can make it work. What are you talking about? You're delusional. It is easy. You live in LA. You have no excuse. I've been there. It's like a vegan mm. wonderland. She has no excuse. That's a vegan junk food wonderland. That's what that is. Excuse not to be vegan. I'm just immersed in something else. I won't stop to make food and I will just eat like a bag of chips or I will just eat uh, something that I can throw in the microwave and I'm very 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 bad at sticking to con a consistent proper diet. So I how so how is eating animals going to help with that? It will help because you will have single ingredients that are whole foods and healthy. This is how that helps. You can just eat a steak and you get proper nutrition. You can just eat a couple of eggs and you get proper nutrition. This is how that helps with it. How is suddenly eating animals going to help you with I your like eating that. habits? Like it, it doesn't make sense. It's just more excuses from No, the it animal. makes. You heat up the pan and you put one steak in there. You get proper nutrition. It's pretty good. 
and I just didn't do it Actress. right. And I know I didn't do it right, and I know that it was my fault that I ended up being... Stop that bullshit. There is no way to do the vegan diet right. Then do it right. <laughs> it doesn't work. You can't do it right. Deficient in a bunch of minerals uh, and nutrients. Were you really deficient? You always well, will be. That is your fault. Okay, do you understand that your diet is deficient by default? You cannot eat B12. You cannot eat vitamin D3. You cannot eat DHA, EPA. You cannot eat carnitin, carnison, so on and so forth. There is no collagen in your diet. This is why you look so gaunt. So how will you not be deficient? You always are deficient as a vegan and therefore you will have to eat chemicals. There is no way to do it right. Well, obviously anyone can be deficient when they're under eating. Try to under eat on organ meats and muscle meats, eggs, so on and so forth. Try a carnivore diet and tell me then if you are under eating. Show us your blood test. Show them. So Show me your blood test. Oh, um, yeah, I don't, I <laughs> Just don't gonna know request it. about the diet. <laughs> It's not a diet and we don't care well, how you want to speak. I know you don't care. It's a religion. Your actions that matter. Now you're hurting animals again. That's all that matters. Mm, you're hurting them. But you're hurting animals too. Stop acting like you're on some sort of moral high ground freely. You're pathetic. You're killing more animals as a vegan than as a carnivore. If you would like to save animals, you would become an ethical carnivore. Stop lying to your audience. Pathetic. I found that it is... Like, I'm just gonna be <laughs> rubber handsies and tofu has a better consistency. You want to tell me, right? Completely oh. candid and open with you guys because you guys know I'm very honest. <laughs> I share things on this channel. I'm very honest. Come on, come on. You're on. Come on, what? When she was vegan, she said that she's vegan. Now she's not vegan anymore. Listen, I'm not sympathizing with Kalel here. I couldn't care less. However, where is she acting? It's not like she's hiding something. She tells you that she eats eggs now. What's the big deal? Very good actress. That's oh, very good. You're, you're not very honest. You are a paid actress. Paid actress. You do realize that Kalel's clicks have gone down. She has less views than she used to have. So how is she paid? That's what it's about. It's more She's fail proof to get all of your nutrients and minerals on Obviously. a diet that includes all the food groups. Uh, hang on. Animals are not a food group. No, but they actually are a food group. This is the truth of this world. It's not Disneyland. They are simply not a food group for humans. Mm. What comes out of them, they're encapsulated hen hence your weight. Okay, but why not? Can you explain why they are not? So for example, if I say many plants are not good for human health because they contain a lot of anti-nutrients and too much irritating fiber, that is a reason. What is the reason for animal foods not to be human nutrition? Hmm? That is not a food. What? It's, I feel like I have a much larger the safety net that I'm covering yeah, all my do. nutrients, minerals, whatever. No, whatever. Gee, this is so confused. There is nothing at all, nothing at all found in animals and animal <laughs> products uh -huh. that cannot be found in plant foods. Okay, B12 is in plant foods. Yes? Is that true? If that is not correct, why do you lie then? DHA, EPA, not found in plant foods, right? Why do you lie then? I'm not going to repeat the whole list. There are certain nutrients that you can find only in animal foods. That is it. That is essential for human health. Essential for human health, fats and proteins. None of your plant-based diet ingredients are necessary for human health. Nothing is essential. Remember that. But there is <laughs> Remember that. that. No, don't. The animal products, products that is going to cause you disease. Uh -huh. Okay? So Why? She is completely Why? uneducated. Uneducated? Why though? How do they cause disease? Tell me about it. I know, I gained weight, not. Side note, it's all just about your weight gain. That's what it's all about, isn't it, Kalel? This isn't about anything other than your weight. And that really irritates me because there are innocent lives here at stake. And when we have so many options and especially- Innocent human lives. Especially Kalel does in LA, this is not okay. It is not okay in 2019 <laughs> to be eating animals and their secretions 
You do not have to be. She does not have to be. There is no excuse for animal abuse. No, again, there is an absolute necessity for it because you cannot find all of those bioavailable nutrients in plant foods. We cannot digest plant foods. Therefore, there is a necessity for it by default. Eating animal products. I gained weight because I binge ate tons and tons and tons and tons of so now Freely makes fun of her about her weight gain, right? She's so egocentric, so narcissistic. She's only thinking about her weight. But you are obsessed with your slim, skinny, malnourished complexion. Processed sugar. Oh, give me a break. Obviously. Blaming the sugar as usual. Yeah, that's why... I Sugar is not healthy, but yes, I do agree. Sugar on its own cannot make you fat. It is not favorable because it will raise and lower your insulin. However, it is due to a caloric surplus. That is understandable. And it's quite easy to overeat on sugar. I'm so obese. No, you're not obese. You're malnourished. Looks disgusting. That's why I'm so obese after... Anorexic. Disgusting. 12 years on basically binging on sugar and yes repulsive mostly fruit. no this is why you are not obese you've been eating only carbohydrates yes you run through the glucose you are cycling i understand all of that however that sugar led to mental illness this is what we see here i've been eating a bunch of fruit but i have been eating a bunch of processed sugar Glactation. more than this one trust mm. me over those 12 years more Congratulations. than her you're admitting to be a sugar junkie that's it. You are running on a macronutrient that is not essential for the human physiology. Simple as that. Processed sugar is just like, what is that? It's just white sugar. You're just binging. You're just eating white sugar. Of course she's not. She's having cakes, which are full of fat. She's having chocolate. Things that are actually full of animal product fat, which make you fat. You know, the animal fat... No, now eat. you're just being ridiculous. Listen, it is not the animal fat that makes you fat. And no, Freddy, you are correct. It is not the sugar that makes you fat. It is a caloric surplus. You can be on a Twinkies diet. We already established that in scientific experiments. And you can lose weight as long as you're eating in a caloric deficit. Don't blame it on one macronutrient. It doesn't work that way. It's basically just going straight to your fat stores. <laughs> no, it you doesn't. sugar, your body burns it up. It's very rare for the body to actually store sugar as fat. Even it still does work if you're eating in a caloric surplus. Simple as that. Even in an overfeeding scenario, uh, it's very rare for your And then we gym guys get blamed for bro science, man. <laughs> what is this? Sugar as fat. Cis when science. Fat comes in, it just goes to your butt, goes to your butt. Something you're going to love you're like that. You're like clapping your butt. Your gut. Wherever yeah, you store it. the fat, it is going to go there. And you can actually do a biopsy where you go in there and you take... You take out but now you're just showing plant foods that are fried in vegetable oil. What does that make a sense? A sample of the fat and you can tell which animals you've been eating. So, you know, you're, you're part pig or you're part chicken or you're part cow. Mm -hmm. That's what happens when you're eating the and you're part banana. animal fat. So sugar is fuel. Yes, white sugar is not the best fuel. But oh, really? still not the best fuel. Yeah, it's shit. That's what it is. It is processed junk. You are promoting sugar. Do I really need to say more? Not going to make you fat. That is a lie. That is an absolute well-marketed lie because your body runs on glucose, runs on sugar, first and foremostly over anything. No, it metabolizes sugar first. Correct. That does not mean that this is the preferred fuel source. It gets metabolized first. If you would drink alcohol, then your body would metabolize alcohol first because it would treat it as a poison, which it is. And therefore it would get metabolized and excreted First, the same happens to carbohydrates. Simple as that. Body burns up the sugar. It's burning, burning, burning up that sugar. And it's that? storing, 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 storing that fat. You're clapping your butt again. Remember that. And barely moved. That's that's how you gain weight. That's oh, like that's not how you gain weight. You just don't even know. Okay? No, you don't even know. You gain weight through a caloric surplus. What the hell? Yeah, you do not have any sort of clue. And I'm sure she's just going to talky, 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 talky more about herself and about, I don't know, you know. So we're going to get move on here. Go to the food. That's what I want to see. And I just saw an apple. And I'm a little bit excited because I saw some fructose. Because you saw right, some sugar. Exactly. so boring. But for my snack, I decided it I'm just going to have an apple and some walnuts. <laughs> Uh, but because you know, she is in this weight loss mentality, you know, she's restricting. She's got one apple. Is it even a whole apple? Some walnuts. No, every now and then we need... I mean, it is good. Okay, <sighs> it's good that she's having fruit and nuts. I'm, I'm on board with this, but 
it's about the whole mentality. It's about why she's eating a particular way, which worries me the most. It's not really for nutrition. I literally have such a sugar addiction, you guys. I'm sitting here eating this apple and I'm fantasizing about having those little cups of like <laughs> dipping caramel. Oh my God. So what's so bad about dipping caramel now? By your definition of what is healthy, freely, you should be happy, right? Caramel is pure sugar. Connection, yeah, kalal, 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 kalal. What are you doing? Why do you think... <laughs> we have a sugar addiction, quote-unquote, because every cell needs it. Yeah, exactly, because you trained yourself to run on sugar. You can get into a state of ketosis and then you don't have that issue anymore. You won't have those sugar cravings. But you interpret that as being healthful because you are insane. As I said already, alcohol gets metabolized first. What should I become now, an alcoholic? After researching and looking into it, I found out that alcohol is the preferred fuel source of our body. Bodies. Hence, we should be starting our day with a six-pack of beer. That makes perfect sense. You have this sugar addiction. That's because we are high sugar creatures. High sugar creatures? Oh. What? Sometimes I just like, just give me strength. Give me strength. What, what is going on with the world? Like Why isn't mother's milk then pure sugar? Why don't women just secrete pure coconut sugar out of their titties? Why isn't that happening then? Milk is filled with fats and proteins and cholesterol and hormones, right? That is the fuel for the human body. This is how it all starts. When did the shift happen when we have to rely on date paste and crystallized sugar? Like, Jesus. This, this, this <laughs> anti sugar <laughs> movement is just like so in, insane. It's mm. absolutely insane. Like, whenever no, you are absolutely insane. Every cell in your body runs on sugar in a healthy Again. state is running on sugar. Yeah. Okay. Of in course, you're going to crave sugar. You're going to want sugar when your body runs on sugar. Like, it makes sense, right? No, it doesn't. It makes sense. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it makes absolute sense. So, <laughs> No, it doesn't. There is a thing of sugar cravings because you conditioned yourself to eat that way. You damaged your body. Now you are relying on sugar. This is what is happening. She is just demonstrating a deficiency in carbohydrates. There is no deficiency in a macronutrient which is not essential. How could it be? Carbohydrates are not essential. Look it up. It takes you one Google search. Only fatty acids and proteins are essential. If you're craving something that your body does not need, then you are a junkie. Then you are addicted. If I would be craving cigarettes or heroin right now, I would be addicted because there is no biological need for it. It is not essential. Sugar She's junkie. actually just demonstrating this deficiency and she wants to binge out because the brain's like, where is my fruit, basically? Yeah, because her brain runs on sugar. She's used to it. It's not healthy. Almost because we are frugivores. But we're <laughs> we're frugivores. Still in 2019. <laughs> Uh, that is what the brain is saying so we need to like get it together and listen to the signals from our brain rather than you know letting the ego take about? over <laughs> the deciding ego. what we're going to put in our gobs okay so you want to tell me that native people in their indigenous homes that have been eating a natural diet the ego took over and this is why they started eating animals why isn't any population vegan why is nobody living only of fruits if it is our natural diet? What happened there? I have this all the time as a kid. The one with the little foil top. Mm. Wow, she is so hungry that she's almost orgasming. Yeah, she is. Orgasming over orgasming. the memory of carbohydrates. Yeah. Like, Sugar junkie sorry. just like you. You have a lot of in common. Is having a plain apple? I mean, if I had caramel in the house. Her like mouth is definitely, uh, there's something wrong here. Okay, there's not a lot of movement here around this area you know about that because you've been using botox yourself and I, I, don't know, I think she might have cheek implants i know she has a chin implant she's had two nose jobs she's got like veneers and all of the rest of it so no. i don't know what it is but around her mouth and i think it's because she's getting injections and she's taking away these lines you know i have lines here that show that i've had a life of living you know of suffering yes. smiling you know you mm, get, of deteriorating you get wrinkles here it is okay you have no collagen it's not okay girls it is 
okay to have some laugh lines. It just shows that. Yeah, now you're gonna promote that, right? Couple of years back, you were a shining example of what Botox looks like. So disingenuous. You have character. You don't want to raise all your character. Uh, character. And no, like you age. look like a 50 year old woman. How old are you again? Just have to say this, but I actually really enjoy this salad, and I think you will like it as well. You don't want salad to like replace the carbohydrate component <laughs> of the dinner. This is. No, you don't want the salad to replace the meat. Very, very important. If you're just gonna have leaves and greens as like the carbs, you're gonna be hungry, you're gonna binge out. This is how it goes. Yeah, obviously, there is no carbs in it, there is no fat in it, there is nothing in it but oxygen. Chicken. Oh no. So she's Stop. eating dead bird carcass, of course. Oh. Kalal. Oh, Kalal. such a hypocrite. I would never eat animals. It's like, yeah, right. You're obviously just being fake here and now you are eating dead. Yeah, she just seems to have a lower pain threshold than you. Of course, she understood she cannot live without animal foods. And neither can you. You, on the other hand, are still in denial. Freely, your time will come as well. You can't maintain this malnourishment. You see it already. You aged 20 years in the last five years. You're deteriorating. You're looking very sick. You can get a serious illness of this. Probably a stroke, probably cancer, something on those lines. I do not wish that upon anybody not even on my worst vegan enemies. However, this is the road that you choose to walk. And if it continues like that, maybe, maybe you will snap out of it at some point and you will understand that you will have to feed your body. It is your responsibility. Dead birds. Really, really Very sad. Dis disgusting. The cats smell it. Of course they Look do. Look at that face. Look at that. Of course they smell the chicken because that is their actual food, okay? They mm, are okay, thank God. At least you understand that. Carnivores. Cool. They're like, yes, that's my food. Give it to me because I'm Sweet. a flesh eater. You know, of lettuce, uh, about half. I mean, it's great that she's got greens. No, it's that not. That's awesome. But it's not going to be enough calories. You know, do not replace true. the carbohydrate component. The you meat. Know, the rice, the pasta, the potatoes, the fruit. That component where you're gonna Why? get a lot of calories, you're gonna get a lot of nutrition mm -hmm. and carbohydrates and you know fructose with the fruit. Okay, tell me why I need fructose. Can you please give me an explanation? Can you please share some light on the subject? Bless me with your wisdom. Why do I need a non-essential carbohydrate in my diet to be healthy? is very very important to your sanity <laughs> yes exactly <laughs> to how you feel so you get depressed and your weight doesn't uh, go up and down uh, you're not depressed right you look so sad and up and down because you're always binging out on the wrong foods half of the container like lots and lots and lots of lettuce mm. then i have some shredded chicken breast and i'm not putting that much oh, why not it's like shredded dead bird carcass Yummy. Mm, yummy. It would be much easier if you would just eat the chicken breast. Just eat 200, 300 grams of chicken breast. You're going to be full. You're going to be satiated. You will get much more nutrition out of it. It's much more sustainable. Salmonella strip on your salad. I want to say salmonella. maybe like a cup total. <laughs> more salmonella comes from vegetables. Right. And the cats are coming for me right now. Okay. And then I'm going to go in with some seeds. I have pumpkin seed like, honestly this is the low such a low carb dinner here this is crazy kalel you're not gonna be happy not gonna be <laughs> man kalel looks like a blow-up doll like an asian blow-up doll happy on this anti-sugar this no sugar this sugar fear that you have it, it's just it's crazy get the fruit in at least have a fruit <laughs> smoothie at least for breakfast yeah, eat our natural diet. Eat a fruit smoothie for breakfast. You are going to go absolutely crazy eating this way. Okay, I'm going crazy enough, listening I'm to this. Leave it there. She is obviously under eating. She's doing a low carb diet. She has no idea about science. It's like science has been cancelled for Kalau in 2019. <laughs> she just has no education at all about how the. And you have it right. You have one chart that you pulled up from Google Images, and you have the authority on science. This is amazing. Human body works and how healthy a whole foods vegan diet lifestyle actually is. She's just so... We have no studies on that whatsoever. Oh, so there is no population that has been vegan. Confused because she's not getting enough sugar. She's not getting enough brain fuel carbohydrates <laughs> to her brain. Yeah, you're crystal clear. I see it. In order for it to function correctly. Mm. And, you know, she's just a hypocrite. You know, she, she pretended to care so much, so much about... 
No, she used to care and then she snapped out of her delusion. Happens to many of us. Believe me, I was an ethical vegan myself until I realized this pretty unethical to malnourish my own body. About the animals here. You know, like she was just like, oh my gosh, you know, like I would do anything to prevent... Yeah, mentally unstable Californian girl. That's what I see there. To prevent the cruelty to animals. Like I want to be, you know, I want to be that person who is mm. going to save them all. It's like, no. <laughs> This is what your movement does. It creates emotionally unstable, pathetic, malnourished people just like her. Well, you were just acting. And you oh. should be ashamed of yourself because there is no excuse for animal abuse. I don't care about your little excuse. It is not animal abuse if you eat your species specific diet. This is just called nourishing your body. Nothing more, nothing less. Excuses. I don't care about you trying to like, you know, avoid vegan criticism by coming up with whatever excuses. It's just, it's gross. I agree. It is absolutely pathetic. She should stop catering to the vegans altogether. The reason why you reclaimed your health is the animal foods you will have to stress that stop saying that a vegan diet is doable if you are a bigger person than myself then you can do it no nobody can do it veganism is human malnutrition Gross. and you should be deleting this video and this is before we get to this <laughs> what <laughs> i cannot believe she is promoting these teas to her viewers it's just it's mind-boggling to me it, this is really girls Please, you know, this is why, this is why I do this. Yeah, girls, if you want to look like this healthy person here, follow her diet advice. Just become sugar addicted, diabetes in a couple of years. Fantastic. Thanks. Yeah, because I actually care. I don't want to... No, you actually do not care. If you would care, you would look into it. You would understand that you, as I said, are killing more animals as a vegan, more than a carnivore. How can you say that you care? You do not understand anything about nutrition. Everything that you eat on a daily basis is not essential to the human body. How can that be healthy? You have no idea what you're talking about. See you suffering after... You know, doing these teas and being like a yo-yo for the rest of your life and having this these eating issues, you know, this is really... Re and 30 bananas per day is not an eating issue. Really right. not okay. And she should be completely ashamed of herself for recommending these teas. They're just all about dehydration, irritating the colon and, you know, poop removal. That is it. What? Just please, you know, eat a healthy diet. Get the fruit in. You do not need fruit to be on a healthy diet. Get the fruit in and you won't have to worry about bowel movements. You're going to be lean, fit and healthy like my Yeah, you're going to shit 16 times per day. Myself, I'm living proof that this works. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yes. Today, Just look like Freely. Oh. more videos from. And if you want to join my group, we are doing vision booking at the moment. I'm showing what I eat, what foods I eat presently in order to stay slim and fit and healthy. To stay Weight anorexic. Loss, live streams, everything like that. If you want to join the Queen no. Bees, Test it out. There's Green a join bees. button next to the subscribe button and I might see you in there. Okay. No, I'll definitely see you next not. video. Yeah. Anyways, so much for that. Absolute mental illness, absolute delusion, total misinformation, still stuck in that mind state from 2010 when we were listening to Dr. Morse and all of the other vegan doctors, right? The so-called doctors, absolute scientific excellence. She's still promoting the shit diet that her ex-boyfriend got her into. He initiated her into his cult and since then she's been a sugar addict. Again, there is absolutely nothing essential about carbohydrates. And no, guys, I'm not against carbohydrates. Especially if you're working out, you can use them. It is all good. It is all fine. However, it is not essential. All the nutrients that the human body needs, you can find in animal foods. That is that. You do not need any carbohydrates that will send you on the sugar roller coaster that will lead to lactation and that will lead to nutritional deficiencies all right guys but this is way too long this video if you enjoyed it leave a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed already please do so if you want to support the channel all the links are in the description box below amazon butcher box cbd subscribe star and patreon links for you Thank you very much for your ongoing support, guys. All right, as always, much love and peace.